Sins like these are not unusual in a papa. The city groaned under such situation for years. Businesses closed and property put up for sale. But that is changing. Sanity is returning to a papa, Nigeria's premier port city, a location that has been under traffic lockdown for several years. The magic is a new policy that is the newly introduced electronic call app for the trucks that come into the port city here. How it works is that for every truck that comes in here, they must be scheduled electronically before eating the road. What that has translated to since it was introduced a few days back is this freer movement of traffic. The change is very palpable on all the routes leading to the port city and all including the truck drivers who have been severally accused of being responsible are enjoying it. Uh, the way they arrange this road now is okay because before we drove too much but now they, they use one lane, they give us one lane to go. We enter Lily Pond. When we reach Lily Pond today, tomorrow morning, go reach your papa. But before, we still use them in like four days, five days for line. But there are some skeptics. As far as we are concerned, what we are seeing today, they've removed the traffic this thing. But the fact is that the main problem that is confronting the stakeholders here is yet to be addressed. Their skepticism may not be misplaced. What obtained in recent past in Papa is fueling their suspicion. And if one policy fails, you don't just look at that policy, this one fails, you disband the presidential task force, and you are ready to go like that, you set up another committee. Now, those presidential task force, there are some people among them that asked about two trucks when it started. Um, after one or two years, they are having about 60 trucks. New tr and, and as it, how did they come across it? Nobody is talking. Let them stop the issue of, of collecting money from this uh, Niger there. They have collected 10,000 naira for a truck to cross to this side. If you don't pay, sir, and the driver of that, my guy is coming, there will be a, there will be a hold on. Where, where is all this money? Where is it going to? I didn't mean they are even collecting it, taking it to normal, um, what's it called? Yeah, to the federal yeah, account. Yeah, account. Yeah, it will be more okay. okay. Despite the new development, they have a lot bothering them about a papa that they want to speak about, including how they think corruption in high places is a major challenge. But officials are dismissing such fears, saying the new era which has introduced an e collab system takes care of all the factors that encourage corruption by limiting physical human contact in the daily conduct of port business. This is, a, this is a solution that has been curated between 2013 and 2020. And the reason why it took this long to curate is to ensure that it is sustainable. So both our investors and our founders have ensured that it is a system that is tested and then when it is deployed, it is, um, it is improved on as we go along. Between the time we uh, launched on Saturday and today, there have been a lot of improvements on the app based on the feedback from the users. And we have also been assured and reassured of the support of the state government and the Nigerian Port Authority to ensure that the system is sustained. I was told yesterday that there have been an app before now. It wasn't working. How are they sure this one will work? But significantly, Mr. Governor of Lagos State, Babaji Dolisolasawolu, has been so kind to have listened to all and sundry. He visited that terrain, that Apapa, many times. So when this issue of e, e, e up started, he sat down several times with the MPA, who is the owner of this app. Yes, they were involved, they started together, and then the, 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 the result is what we are seeing. We're given an exclusive access into the control room at the Lipon terminal here in Apapa, where officials explained to me that with this screen, they can monitor the movement of every truck that comes into this axis, and at the same time, trucks coming from other terminals as well as frigates, all in the bid to be able to monitor efficiently the newly introduced e app, and at the same time, control their Apapa chaos. Turn it back. Turn it back. The 
customer care center to complement, though it is still being put together. It is from here for now that the app messages are sent out to the truck operators who then move to any of the designated parks for onward movement to the Lily Pond Park for a final clearance to access their papa ports. So immediately you've booked the parks, the only thing your driver needs to do is to be on the road. And because he has a smartphone or even an ordinary phone that can receive text messages, he will get the transaction details for that journey on his phone. So that way, law enforcement agents are able to verify that he is on the road validly. And if you have printed a ticket, he can also have a ticket that can either be scanned against the card reader, that's the card reader behind you that you can see, or codes that can be punched into the keypad, which you also see on the uh, structure behind you. So this way, you are able to manage the movement of that truck and you can calculate the time it's going to take you to complete a particular haulage transaction. How many of those parks do we have? So far we have 10 approved parks that ten. The, the Nigerian Port Authority has approved. All so, the parks? All inside Lagos? Yes. There are lots. Some are along the Badon Express, okay. some are as of Lagos. Okay. okay. So those parks will be the one feeding Lily Pond. Okay. Lily Pond will feed the Lagos Port, which is a power port. Okay. Some of those parts will now feed MOB. MOB is like Lily Pond. Without looking far around, you will feel and see excitement, but it is one with a mixture of stated and suppressed expression of uncertainty of what lies ahead, because in the unspoken words of many here, those profiting from the chaos who have been openly lamenting the new development will bounce back and most likely with a better strategy. But for that category of people, the governor of Lagos State has a word. We know that they want to attempt to fight back. And so I'm facing the camera and I'm saying it now, that we will not stop at anything to ensure that anybody that tries to retract and take us back to where we're coming from on the gridlock and on a papa, we will do everything that we have to fight those people. We check the other side of a papa, the Tinkan port, and the rot is still very glaring, although the traffic situation is equally easy enough and is significantly improved. A lot we noticed still needs to be done as businesses are still conducted the old way. I come from Abuja, which is from Tribal. Okay. So they are fighting us for my two. Before then, I reach to passing us come Tinkan or Apapa. Okay. So me, when I day here, they don't already collect my money Pass me, carry me con here. From where? From my two my sites. Two. When? Any truck in over two weeks, I'll be three weeks safe. I don't forget. I don't do here over two weeks. And I did in this express over four days, getting to five days. Okay. After my owner give me 200,000, I give one man here with police people where they pass trailer. From my two years, it's second gate. Okay. After they still collect my money, I still in here over this two weeks. Mr. Governor said it and is still saying it. No money must exchange and the truckers are hearing, the drivers are hearing. Resist, resist any form of payments. Any form of, any form of extortion? Yes, I don't want to. Yes. Any form of being extortion, gratification, resist it and let us know. Now they have spoken up. Maybe it is time for those in charge to engage more so that those who may be trying to take a papa back to the old way do not have their way and succeed in proving skeptics of the new system rights. Tokumbo, Oye Arise News, Lagos.